Hi there, my name is Susanna Greenwood and I'm directing The Wonderful World by Richard Dresser at The Dragon. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Hoffman and I'm directing Cat's Paw by William Masterson. Hi, I am Laura Jane Bailey and I will be directing Marvin's Room by Scott McPherson. My name is Tim Albright and I am directing Little Dog Laughed. Hi, my name is Lennon Smith and I'll be directing the new play March by Sharon Rothstein. The plot of this play is um, kind of interesting. It all revolves around um, a misinterpretation, uh, a miscommunication. Uh, what happens when uh, someone takes something the wrong way, the ramifications of that, the consequences, and everything that kind of dominoes after that. This play is about what happens when you take four characters and put them together in a powder keg of a situation. Marvin's Room, to me, is about how we live our life and how we die. It's the big questions. Are we serving others in our life or are we serving ourselves? Little Dog Left is about a major Hollywood film star who uh, has a, an affair with a male prostitute and they fall in love. And his agent finds out and uh, wants to kind of quash the romance and not let the actor come out as he wants to ruin his career and ruin her career, potentially, so she thinks. Well, it's about two teenagers who are very lonely and have uh, crazy families, each in a different, very different way. And so, as some people do, they are looking for friends and looking for someone to care and understand them. What I, what I really, really liked about this play um, was the idea that, oh, wouldn't it be great if everyone just told the truth? If, you know, everyone was just direct and to the point and, you know, everyone was just, was just honest. Cat's Paw really asks the audience to think about what is most important to them. What are they willing to stand up and fight for? Is it some personal liberty? Is it the liberty of others? Is it an ideal? And how far are they willing to go to affect change in that area of their lives. The play is looking at how we take care of each other in this world and how that affects the way we move through this world and then ultimately how we feel about leaving this world. So I think this play has a lot of, a lot of themes and one of them it's simply kind of a, a coming out story uh, which in and of itself I don't think is always terribly interesting, but in this case it's someone in this position of a high-powered Hollywood star uh, trying to come out and live his true life. There's going to be some real interesting technical things going on. We're going to have to somehow create a virtual world with two actors, two young actors, turning into their avatars really in front of our eyes. So I think there'll be some buzz about that. But I think what they'll really walk away with is, oh, these kids and how hard it is to find um, connection. What I'm hoping people walk away with after seeing this play is that they're really entertained. I hope they're taken down this journey of this love story. I'm really excited um, if I can get some of those audience members <laughs> to um, let out an audible gasp or have a jaw drop due to some of the things that are said um, the I cannot believe she just said that, you know, to her face kind of moments. At least if the audiences are inspired to consider what's important to them in their own lives and uh, what, where do they need to stand up and, and be more vocal, whether it's online petitions, going to an Occupy protest, writing a letter, whatever it might be, um, I, I hope it inspires some sort of personal activism each of them. I'd love it if the audience were laughing and crying and um, moaning all at the same time. Hmm.